China is taking deep sea research to a level never attempted before. A fully crewed underwater research station will be built 6,560 feet 2,000 meters below the surface, far deeper than any permanent human outpost in history. Often referred to as a deep sea space station, this cutting edge facility will host up to six scientists for month long missions focusing on studying cold seep ecosystems, unique underwater environments rich in life and methane hydrates, a potential future fuel source. But why is China investing in such a risky and ambitious project? The South China Sea is home to an estimated 70 billion tons of methane hydrates, frozen crystals of methane and water that could power the world for centuries if harnessed properly. While the US, Japan and India have researched methane hydrates, China is the first to build a permanent deep sea research facility to study and extract them at scale. But this project is not just about energy. The South China Sea is one of the most disputed regions on earth, with multiple countries, including Vietnam, the Philippines and Malaysia, claiming parts of it. However, China has been expanding its control, building artificial islands, military bases, and now this deep sea research station. If successful, the station could provide scientific, military, and economic advantages, solidifying China's dominance in the region. Constructing a human-occupied station at such an extreme depth presents enormous technical challenges. The station will require ultra-strong materials to withstand 600 times the pressure of the surface, advanced life support systems for extended missions, and possibly a self-sufficient nuclear power source. Unlike the USS upcoming Proteus underwater station, which will operate at just 1,000 feet depth, China's project is far deeper, more ambitious, and potentially self-sustaining. But why use human researchers instead of relying on AI and robotics? The answer is simple. Humans can do what machines cannot. Robots struggle with delicate tasks, AI cannot adapt to unpredictable underwater events, and only human scientists can make real-time decisions and conduct complex research that could lead to breakthroughs in medicine, marine science, and energy extraction. Looking even further into the future, China's deep sea station could be a blueprint for human ocean colonization and even future space missions. Life 6,500 feet underwater is similar to living in space. Both environments require extreme isolation, limited oxygen, and self-sustaining life support systems. The knowledge gained here could directly contribute to future Moon and Mars colonies. Ultimately, China's deep sea space station is more than just a research lab. It represents technological ambition, geopolitical strategy, and the next phase of human exploration. If successful, it could redefine energy production, ocean science, and even space colonization. But the big question remains, is this purely a scientific breakthrough or is China using it as a stealth military project? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the future of technology and exploration.